Welcome, Eurovision fans. I'm going to do a little bit of a pre-show, uh, just to kind of say hi and show my support here, and uh, say I'm thinking about all of you awesome people out there whose countries are participating today, and I'm hopeful that you all have good results that you like. Um, we got a very mixed bag on Tuesday, so uh, yeah, gosh, it's still kind of heartbreaking in a way. I'm happy though; like I'm really happy for the countries that qualify. I'm even happy for San Marino. I, you know, no, I made a big deal out of San Marino, but you know, it's not just San Marino. We're going to see these votes, and apparently they are separated by a very thin margin. The number ten, number eleven number 12 spot. We're really close. So I can't wait to see the scorecards and see. I am assuming Hungary was really high up there in 11th or 12th. That's just my guess. And uh, maybe Portugal was even close too. I'm not sure, uh, but I'm going to guess Hungary was 11th. And if it is, that would break my heart. Two freaking points. Um, just crazy. But uh, that's my prediction, and we'll see what happens when we get the scorecards. So let's take a look at the odds and see the highest chances to qualify here. They've got Netherlands, Sweden, Russia, Azerbaijan, Switzerland, Malta, Norway, North Macedonia, Armenia, and Denmark. So my personal qualifiers, my predicted qualifiers are Netherlands, Sweden, Russia, Azerbaijan, Switzerland, Malta, Norway, Armenia, Romania, and Albania. Those are my predicted. So uh, we'll see. I am hoping, hoping, hoping Albania can make it. Uh, like I said, I've said the whole season. My top two are Albania and Netherlands, and they kind of flip-flop almost every day, it feels like. Uh, so those are the two I'm rooting for the hardest, although I love Armenia, and I'm rooting for Armenia. I love Azerbaijan. I'm rooting for Azerbaijan. Norway also. Lithuania. They're all in my top ten. So the songs going today that are in my top ten, Netherlands, Russia, Azerbaijan, Norway, Armenia, Albania, and Lithuania are all in my top ten. That's crazy. Uh, there's definitely going to be some heartbreak. I really want Croatia to qualify. I've just that song's grown on me, and I just hope Rocco goes out there and kills it because uh, I would love to see Croatia. I would love to be wrong and have Croatia jump in there and qualify and take one of those spots as long as it's not <laughs> one, of, one of my top ten. <laughs> and I know I'm going to lose a few. I don't count on... I don't know. I can't count Lithuania out, but I'm scared for Lithuania. But I love the song. It's right in my top ten. So uh, I'm one of the only people I've seen that has Lithuania in my top ten. <laughs> I wanted to get the top list out. It's just not working. I'm going to have to do it tomorrow or even the day after the contest and have just a final after show top 10. It's not working. Um, all my files are corrupted and just sucks. So I'm pretty pissed off about that. But um, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of my favorite songs are here. Um, I think the other, if I'm remembering... My, the rest of my top ten was Hungary, was number six, I have Israel number five, and I have uh, Serbia number three. So they're done or coming up on Saturday, Israel Saturday, Serbia Saturday, Hungary got knocked out. So uh, my top ten is uh, two out of ten are advancing or in the finals and uh, still have seven to go here so i'm nervous i'm worried it's going to be stressful i'm going to end up taping just like this actually uh, i'm not going to have the screen i'm not going to take the chance of my reaction getting wiped out like before uh, i'll figure out how to put filters on the screen during the off season i'm going to be working on editing a lot so i'll learn how to do filters and such because i've seen some of them darken the screen and then the uh, software recognition doesn't kick in and kick out my video. I ended up losing hours from my reaction video. I wanted the instant reaction and then brought up immediately. You know, I'm like hoping it gets up immediately, but I had to delay it by like three hours and make fixes and changes and got about a hundred and I put it up right away. I got about a hundred views and then they cut it. So I don't want that mistake to happen again. So, uh, 
I'm going to record my reaction to all the songs. I will probably post that right away um, after after um, the qualifiers are all picked. I'll put that video up first, and then I'll put my reaction to the whole show. I'll split it up in in sections as they uh, in parts as they cut to commercial and or uh, have pauses. So every time they do a pause, I'll consider that a part and cut it. Um, and uh, put them up right after. So you'll see my reaction to all the songs. And I have it from semifinal one, two. I just need to blur, blacken out the video. So that's why that's taking a bit. But I'm rambling. Oh, it's going to be a good show. So who are your predictions to qualify and who do you want to qualify? What do you think... Uh, is going to happen. What do you want to happen? It's uh, that feeling, you know, it feels like you're, you're when you have like a sports team and they're in the championship and when your country doesn't uh, qualify, I'm sure it feels like your sport team lost a major tournament or something. That's what it feels like for me. Even I have no connection, you know, my country can't be in it. And I sit here and if a country I love gets eliminated like Hungary the other day or Portugal, I'm just like, my team just lost the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's just, that's my reaction. Cause uh, it's just, it's so meaningful and it's heartbreaking to see your, your, uh, your favorites get sent home. I had my top two songs eliminated the same semifinal last year. It was awful. It was terrible. I mean, I was sad for days after that. I get over things quickly, though, but it's uh, hard to see it on that night. You're just like, no, or like they say, total elation, complete happiness when your song does qualify. It makes it all worthwhile, you know? So, uh, I'm hoping that we get some good results, and like I said for semifinal one, I hope we get the best songs, the best performances get through. For the most part, I think we got a good lot there from semifinal one. I would say, really, there's only one that might have been questionable, but there's no more memes, at least I don't think, unless we get another, well, there's no epic sax guys or anything this year, is there? <laughs> Uh, so uh, it looks like we're it's pretty straightforward to me. I think there's eight solid qualifiers. If I don't get eight correct, um, just I don't know. I think I will get eight correct at least. I'm hoping for nine today. Nine qualifiers predicted right is my goal. I need to get my eight average because I had seven the other day. I think the odds even beat me. The odds never beat me. I've beaten the odds every time except for I think the odds got eight right because they picked Belgium and um, uh, Hungary were in their top ten. So uh, I believe they got two wrong if I'm if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, let me know. If they got more wrong, I'll feel better about myself. <laughs> but, yeah, seven was pathetic. I need to get, uh, you know, nine to redeem myself a little bit. The very first time I ever made predictions was 2016, and I got 10 out of 10. I thought, oh, this is going to be easy. And you know, the next time I got nine. So I'm like, oh, 19 out of 20 in 2016, I did pretty good. And then uh, uh, 2017, I think I got like eight and eight or something and then <laughs> it just seven's the worst I've ever done so uh, I, I don't like seven though I'm not happy with seven so gotta do better than seven and uh, how many did you all get right from semifinal one from your predictions I'd like to hear them uh, if you're better than me let me know <laughs> I'll laugh along and uh, and uh, you know take the blame for bad picks <laughs> And uh, hope today they come out a little better. So, again, I'll go down my picks one last time here, my predictions. So I've got Netherlands, Sweden, Russia, Azerbaijan, Switzerland, Malta, Norway, Armenia, Romania, Albania. So, uh, I don't know, I kind of feel like it's going to be either Romania or Albania. And one of those I'll get wrong. That's kind of my feeling. And I hope it's not Albania because I love Albania so much. Like I said, it's in my top two. So I'll be uh, hoping for Yonida to fly like an eagle today. 
and that we get a great performance and a great show overall. Again, I hope all the countries do well and the winners that make it deserve to qualify. And we just get a fantastic show for today. So that's my hope. That's my goal. And uh, let's just have fun with it. Let's uh, enjoy the show. So let me know who are your predictions and who do you want to qualify in the comment section below. And I am going to be waiting with anticipation for the semifinal two to start here in about 54 minutes. So for now, Lethargic Sloth out.